proudly brings you Campbell Live. This is seen a short time ago at the Auckland War Memorial Museum here in Auckland, funnily enough, as the Sherrills arrived from all around the country for the grand opening of the Outrageous Fortune exhibition. Welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome, Tammy. It's so lovely to have you here. We are in the Outrageous Fortune set, not out west, not in the, uh, not in the studio, but in fact in the Auckland War Memorial Museum. We're joined by the tool, by the tool guys, they're going to come and talk to us later. But what's happening is that the Auckland War Memorial Museum is basically having an Outrageous Fortune exhibition. It opens tonight, all the sort of people who end up in the Sunday papers are out there waiting to get their cocktails and come through. But we have very special guests tonight in honour not only of the exhibition, but the most successful drama series in the history of New Zealand television and I will never know a finer nor more absurd moment than plonking down between you two <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> it's kind of real becomes unreal becomes a record. I'm in a vortex Ooh. at the moment and I'm not quite strange. getting it. This is really strange. This is so, so when were you last in the... F I should say, first of all, Siobhan Marshall, welcome. Pl he played Pascal in the series. And Robert Malcolm, who played Cheryl in the series. Hi. So this, is, this is your family home that we're in, right? Yeah. And when were you last here? March. So you haven't shot a frame since March? This no. Is a no, the beginning of March, like the 3rd of March or something. And does it, is it, is it, does it look like what it was? Yes, it's quite weird being in here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much exactly the same. Well, what's it like to be back? Had you sort of left it all behind? Oh, look, well, I walked in and I teared up. I'm kind of feeling incredible. <laughs> I'm feeling slightly emotional, John. <laughs> I spent more of my waking hours here than I did in my own home. So in a strange kind of weird, psychotic way, this is our home and it's in the middle of the museum and I don't quite know what that means but it's very strange. Well, well, what it's it, wonderful. What it means to me is that it's a great sort of establishment success story isn't it? I mean the yeah. museums are places for, I mean less so these days but they're kind of traditionally places for high culture. So if yeah. you're here you are a New Zealand institution, you've kind of made it haven't you? Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Do, have you seen, have you had a wander around? No, I, no I haven't, this is it, I've just walked in here. Weird. Around the corner is sort of your audition tape. Did you know they were going to use that? I knew they were going to use a really small bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> except you, except there's two things about it. One, you're really good. Oh, and, that's good. And, 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 and you and, got and the and role. <laughs> they cast you. <laughs> and you're strikingly young. Did you feel like you grew up on this program? Well, I was I was 21 when I started, and now I'm 27. So yeah, it's a good chunk of my 20s. Yeah. yeah. You sort of came of age on Outrageous yeah, Fortune. I guess so. <laughs> do, 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 do you still, are you still Pascal when you walk along the street? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and at some level, is that is, is wonderful and is flattering? Is it, is it also something of a curse when you're a working actor and you want to move on from that? Um, it, yeah, yeah, it might be a little bit. Hopefully I'll get a new job soon. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Robin, what, what, are you still Cheryl sure West? You are, aren't you, bless you. Although, you, although, you, you, you sort of play along, don't you? <laughs> Well, I started this um, show when I was 21 as well, John. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, didn't we all? <laughs> yeah, didn't we all? Um, well, I've been around a bit and I'm used to, you know, you, you become a character for a while and then, you, well, it's the old saying in the industry, you're only as good as your last job, so you just got to get another one afterwards, you know. But this was a very important job and a really significant job and, and particularly because of what it did collectively in New Zealand, you know, and so... Um, what did it do collectively in New Zealand? Well, it kind of... Well, it really brought New Zealand entertainment home, I think. You know, finally we're presenting New Zealanders back to New Zealanders mm. and they loved it, you know. And, and that, I'm so proud of that and I'll always be proud of that. And this, this, I'm, t I'm struggling to be objective about this at the moment, you know, because I know every corner of this room, you know, like a mother would. I've, you know, cleaned every corner. Well, I haven't personally, but, but <laughs> <laughs> the art department did, but, but I pretended to, you know. Um, but I can see the significance of this. It's yeah. amazing that this set is here in the Auckland Museum yeah, as part of our popular culture. It's yeah. amazing. You know what, this is terrible, but I want to ask you how life with Judd is. I mean, that's just absurd. Don't, no, not, not telling. <laughs> not telling. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Not in my presence. Not in front of mum, come on. But the, I mean, we believed you, didn't we? We, we, we believed yes. this was a real home out west. We believed yeah. that you were real characters. And I think yeah. that's the measure of the success. Did you love it? I loved it. I loved it. Mm. I'm not going to get all questions. <laughs> I don't, I've got, oh, we're getting the wine. I've lost all comms with Auckland. I just want you to know, guys, I've absolutely no idea how long I've been going on for. But I'm now going to 
You've been around the country collecting Cheryl's, haven't you? Yes, I've been collecting Cheryl's in my little handbag, and I've got many of them, and they're all amazing looking. I was the one that felt like the fake on the plane. They were, the, the cleavages were right out there, <laughs> spectacular cleavages, lots of leopard skin, lots of attitude, sunglasses, hair, the works, brilliant, tattoos, lots of um, tool guys, lots of tools. We had a tool flying the plane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we got Emma Keeling was with Cheryl as she went collecting Cheryl's, or Robin as she went collecting Cheryl's. Let's see how their day was. <laughs> My mission, to escort outrageous fans in one piece to the big event in Auckland. I didn't like my chances. It started yep. very well. It started it very started well. You've well, had your yeah. first drink. You had my first drink. Are you about to knock up a second? I might have another one. Oh, well, but it's a little early. I like the fact you've got the little red straps going on. Is that oh, And a wee bit of lemon. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> There's lemon everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Someone didn't read the invite, Siobhan. <laughs> well, you look like you're ready for the beach. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> We've got ACDC on the stereo. I've got my sausage roll. I've got my drink. Uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning and we're in a bar in Christchurch. This day is going to be a mission. <laughs> From the bar to the plane, and a new game. Where's Robin Malcolm? This is so surreal. It was also a little hard to spot the plane crew. Uh, uh. And apparently this is the pilot. So all of you that I uh, met before in the terminal that didn't believe I was the pilot, now, um, now you believe, is that all right? <laughs> and we've arrived in Wellington to pick up more Westies. It just gets better and better. Look at the cleavage coming through. It's spectacular. Well done, Wellington. Well done. A little bit pissed already, but... Oh, well. So we roll on the west side, but... No one bats an eye when Munter heads to the cockpit. And then that's the rear handle for the evacuation. At least the fluffy dice will keep his attention away from all the buttons. The passengers are cutting loose. Yeah, it was worse. It was, it was worse than that. It was worse. But I, 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 you're, not, you're not a hairdresser, are you? No, no. That's <laughs> why it's a little um, lopsided. Oh. I blame the drink and the cabin crew who just can't hold theirs. <laughs> it's turning into a Westie love fest. Are you planning on picking up on this flight? Uh, yeah, just over here. Oh, you've already picked up. Oh, oh. Are you OK with this much leg showing? Aren't you a bit worried you're going to be snapped up? Oh, he's quite a catch. He is quite a catch. Who's been on your chest? <laughs> Timmy. Timmy. And was it good for you? It was. It was great. Just before we land in Auckland, a quick fashion show. Standard leopard print. Standard. And then the sunnies. Look at that. Points are given if you can still walk straight. Great cleavage as well. Good cleavage. Good on top. Great cleavage, great eyes, and, and great hair and great leopard skin all around. being true Westies, they'll get their second win for the big party tonight.